The first observations of the rare decay of the Higgs boson may indicate the existence of particles unknown to physics. The Large Hadron Collider LHC, at CERN has allowed scientists to make groundbreaking discoveries in particle physics. It was thanks to him that in 2012 it was possible to confirm the existence of the Higgs boson, sometimes called the God particle. Since then, intensive research on its properties has been carried out. They resulted in the observation of a rare case of the decay of the Higgs boson into a Z boson and a photon, which may be indirect evidence of the existence of particles not predicted by the standard model. At the recent Large Hadron Collider Physics LHCP, conference, Scientists presented the first evidence of a rare process in which the Higgs boson decays into a Z boson and a photon. This decay of the Higgs boson may provide indirect evidence of particles beyond those predicted by the standard model of particle physics. Physicists use the standard model to describe all known elementary particles in the universe and the forces through which they interact. The rare process was observed thanks to data from 2015 to 2018 from two experiments carried out at the LHC, named ATLAS and CMS. According to current knowledge, the Higgs boson can decay either into two photons or into a Z boson and a photon. The standard model predicts that if the Higgs boson has a mass of 125 giga electron volts, it is about 0.15% cases it should decay into a Z boson, electrically neutral carrier of weak interactions, and a photon, carrier of electromagnetic interactions. However, there are theories that complement or go beyond the standard model and indicate a different frequency of similar events. They assume that the decay of the Higgs boson into a Z boson and a photon is not direct. This process is supposed to involve, virtual, particles that appear and disappear, making them not easily detectable. These mysterious particles are not predicted by, standard, physics. Therefore, if it turned out that more or less than 0.15%, Higgs boson decays into a Z boson and a photon, this would indicate the existence of unknown physical processes beyond the standard model or unknown properties of the God particle. This is why scientists are looking at the phenomenon so closely. Scientists working on the ATLAS and CMS projects had previously looked for evidence of the decay of the Higgs boson into a Z boson and a photon. To this end, they try to identify the occurrence of the Z boson and its decay into pairs of electrons or muons. However, the data was not accurate because the decay of the Z boson occurs only 6.6% of the time. Cases, which, combined with its extremely rare occurrence, 0.15% of Higgs boson decays made it very difficult to detect the entire process. In the new study, experts from ATLAS and CMS joined forces to make the odds of observing this specific decay of the Higgs boson. Artificial intelligence was also used to analyze the data collected in the years 2015 to 2018. The collaboration resulted in a significant increase in the statistical precision of the results and the first evidence of the decay of the Higgs boson into a Z boson and a photon. The obtained data indicate that decay into the Z boson and photon may occur more often than predicted by the standard model. However, the researchers emphasize that the results should still be approached with caution, because they are not fully accurate and require further verification. Researchers hope that the new capabilities of the LHC will soon allow for more precise observations. The LHC is the world's most powerful accelerator, housed in a circular tunnel 100 meters underground.
It consists of a 27 km ring of magnets with a series of accelerating structures. It allows particles moving at high speeds to collide with each other. The results of the collisions are recorded by a number of elementary particle detectors, including two large ones, ATLAS and CMS. The launch of the LHC made it possible to make groundbreaking experiments in physics, e.g. discovery of the Higgs boson or pentaquarks. An Arctic expedition has discovered a new, northernmost island in the world. A research expedition of scientists from the University of Copenhagen to northern Greenland resulted in the discovery of the northernmost island in the world. The small piece of land is only 60 meters long and 30 meters wide. In July 2021, scientists from the University of Copenhagen, as part of a large research expedition to collect samples from the remote outskirts of northern Greenland, accidentally came across the northernmost island in the world. Scholars initially thought they had reached the island of Udak, which until then held that name. However, it turned out that they were on a new, ice-exposed, hitherto unknown island, which is located even further north. The hitherto unknown island is located 780 meters north of Udak, an island off Cape Morris Jessup, which is about 710 kilometers from the geographic North Pole. The newly discovered island measures approximately 60 meters by 30 meters and rises 3 to 4 meters above sea level. We were convinced that we were standing on the island of Udak, which until now was registered as the northernmost island in the world. But when I posted the photos and coordinates of the island on social media, Many American island hunters went crazy and claimed that it couldn't be true. Explained expedition leader Morton Rash from the Department of Earth Sciences and Natural Resources Management at the University of Copenhagen. Comments on social media prompted Rash and the rest of the expedition to contact an expert at the Technical University of Denmark, DTU. Together with the DTU, we realized that our GPS had made a mistake, which led us to conclude that we were on Udak. In fact, we have just discovered a new island that is even further north, explains Rash. This was confirmed by GPS on the helicopter used by the group to reach the island. As Rash admitted, the island consists mainly of sediments from the seabed soil and rocks left by the retreating glacier. We owe its construction to storms, which with the help of water gradually scooped rocks and sediment from the seabed until an island was formed. The new island may not stay on the world maps for long. Such pieces of land often end up under the water table. No one knows how long he will stay with us. In fact, it could disappear as soon as a bigger storm comes in, Rash said. The University of Copenhagen said in a statement that, the as yet unnamed island is the northernmost point of Greenland and one of the northernmost points of land on Earth. Does the sonic toothbrush effectively clean my teeth? Caries and periodontal diseases are the most common diseases of the oral cavity. If left untreated, they not only affect the health of the teeth and gums, but may also increase the risk of other systemic diseases. To prevent them, brush your teeth regularly and thoroughly every day. How to do it efficiently and effectively? Is a sonic toothbrush a good choice? What is worth knowing about it? The sonic toothbrush works based on sound waves, thanks to which its fibers can make as many as tens of thousands of movements per minute, which ensures thorough sweeping of deposits and bacteria from the surface of the teeth. What's more, the cleaning range of the sonic toothbrush is not limited to the visible surfaces of the teeth. How is this possible? Well, sonic toothbrushes, depending on the model, 
make from 30,000 to even 96,000 movements per minute. The sound waves and the rapid movements of the fibers set water, saliva and toothpaste molecules in motion. As a result, tiny bubbles are formed that penetrate deep between the teeth and along the gum line, thus providing a much more effective oral cleaning than using a traditional or even an electric toothbrush. The sound waves themselves also have unique properties. They act directly on the bacteria, making it difficult for them to multiply again in the oral cavity. As a result, teeth are cleaner and visibly smoother for longer. Are you wondering if it is really worth choosing this type of toothbrush? Definitely yes. The specificity of operation and noticeably faster movements of the sonic brushes make the cleaning ingredients reach almost every corner of the oral cavity, which is reflected in incomparably more thorough cleaning. Sonic brushes also help to better clean the areas between the teeth and the inside of the teeth, which are difficult to thoroughly clean with ordinary brushes. As a result, the teeth, and thus the smile itself, become brighter and shinier. The effective operation of sonic toothbrushes allows you to get rid of plaque and discoloration, while slowing down the accumulation of tartar. Despite making such intense movements, sonic toothbrushes are safe for gums and tooth enamel. They clean teeth gently and at the same time thoroughly and with high precision. The effects can be noticed after the first use. Teeth become visibly smoother and brighter. And what effects can we expect with regular use of the sonic toothbrush? Better protection against caries. Sonic toothbrushes remove even several times more plaque than a manual toothbrush at the same time, thanks to which the teeth are less exposed to caries. Improvement of gum health. Thanks to the fact that the sonic toothbrush thoroughly cleans teeth, also in hard-to-reach places, for example along the gum line, it helps to prevent inflammation. Brush fibers also gently massage the gums, which improves their blood supply and overall condition, slower tartar buildup. Fresh breath. Sonic brushes are easy and comfortable to use. And they do almost all the work for us. Therefore, they are especially recommended for people who have difficulties in mastering the correct technique of brushing their teeth with a manual toothbrush, or brush their teeth too briefly and superficially. The process of brushing your teeth is very simple. After applying the toothpaste, set the brush head at an angle of about 45 degrees to the surface of the teeth, directing the ends of the bristles to the gum line. Then turn on the toothbrush and slowly move it over the dental arch. We can also make gentle circular movements. In this way, we clean the outside and inside of the teeth and the chewing surfaces. The timer built into the toothbrush helps to thoroughly clean each part of the tooth. It is worth remembering not to press the toothbrush too hard, as this may reduce its effectiveness. Have you convinced yourself to buy a sonic toothbrush? But you are wondering which one to choose so that it turns out to be really comfortable to use. One of the key parameters that is worth considering when buying is the speed range, i.e. the maximum number of sonic movements that the toothbrush is able to perform per minute. The higher the score, the more effective the cleaning will be. This is a particularly important tip for people who drink a lot of coffee, tea or smoke cigarettes on a daily basis and for this reason may find it difficult to maintain naturally white teeth. Some sonic toothbrushes are equipped with speed control. Such a model will then be a great solution both for people who want to maintain the natural color of their teeth and for those who have a sensitive mouth. Another important selection criterion is the cleaning programs. A good sonic toothbrush usually offers several modes, thanks to which daily toothbrushing is better suited to the changing needs of the oral cavity.
Depending on the model, the toothbrushes can be equipped with a whitening, delicate polishing program or a special gum massage mode. Another convenience can be a pressure sensor that sends a warning when we press the head too hard against the teeth or gums. Finally, an important aspect when choosing a sonic toothbrush is its operating time. There are models on the market whose cordless operation time is from 2 to 3 weeks. Assuming that we use the toothbrush twice a day for 2 minutes. Toothbrushes with a more powerful battery can work up to 6 to 10 weeks. Fewer recharges mean not only greater convenience but also longer battery life and less environmental impact.